In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce flash sale in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and navigate to Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go ahead and download and install this plugin. Once you've done so, let's navigate back over to our dashboard. So to upload the plugin, you go Plugins, Add New, and you'll have a field in which you can um, drag and drop the plugin to install and activate it once you've done so. In your dashboard, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. You want to navigate down to Dynamic Pricing Rules. Once you've done so, then we'll navigate over to where it says Advanced Rules here and we'll create our first flash sale within WooCommerce. You can create a flash sale based on many different criteria. So you can create a site-wide uh, flash sale. You can create a category specific flash sale. You can create a, I don't know, a buy one, get one free flash sale. Um, but for this video, I'm gonna keep it really simple. Um, so I'm gonna create our first flash sale and I'm just gonna click add new category pricing. I'm gonna create a bundled discount flash sale. So I'm gonna say, they can, for a limited time only, they can get free hoodies um, for $90, for example. The first step is to give it a, give you a campaign, an internal name, and this is for internal purposes only. So um, when you've got multiple different campaigns running, you know exactly what each campaign is for. So let's name this one. So we'll say, um, okay. And here we will select um, sum of category as a processing type. And then here where it says category counts. So this is a category that's gonna trigger this promotion. So it's in a hoodies category. And then here it says categories to adjust. So this is where the discount will be applied. So again, earlier I mentioned, let's say for example, if we wanted to say spend X amount in our hoodies category and get X amount percent off in our accessories category. This is how you'd actually go about and do that. So in this case, you'd select accessories. But for our example, we're creating a special offer where to buy free hoodies for, 19, for $90. So we're gonna select hoodies again here. Okay, and then here where it says applies to, we get to choose who we wanna offer this particular promotion to. Um, who will we target basically? So currently it's set to everyone. Then we've got guest users, which is logged out users, user that's not logged into our site. And then we've got specific user role. There's also specific user as well. So you can target um, a specific user. This option isn't available to me because I'm using an older version. And also we've got first time buyer as well. So I'm gonna select, set it to everyone. And then for the processing mode, I'm gonna select bundle discount okay and since this is a flash sale we don't want to think about um, having to turn this off so what we're going to do is let's say we're running this promotion this is a free day promotion right so the current day for me now at the time of recording is the 20th so we can say we want this campaign to start on the 20th and we want it to finish in three days time which is the 22nd right so this automatically, this campaign will automatically shut off um, once it's gone past the 22nd. Okay, so again, here where it says quantity, we're gonna select free, because the campaign is, if you remember, with the user can buy, purchase free hoodies, um, and then they will basically pay $90 for all free. For the title, we can say um, free. Okay, and then let's hit save changes. And then let's go ahead and check this out. So I'm gonna to navigate to products and in categories, just to quickly locate my hoodies category. And here we can see the hoodies category. Let's click view. And here we can see we've got some hoodies for various prices as well. So if I click one to add to cart, first let's clear cart. Let's clear our cart just to make sure. And then let's add this one to cart. So this is $45. $45, which is $90, right? And then we'll add another one. And there you can see we've added free hoodies to our cart and we're getting it for $90. And this can be, you can run various different flash sale, but in this example, I just wanted to show you um, the concept of it all. So I guess the main thing um, to keep in mind is where it says um, dates here. 
So again, if I quickly navigate over to um, order total, which is our cart based discounts, let's say, for example, we wanted to run a flash sale, whereas the user can spend again, we'll give this a name. So let's say, um, and we will say the quantities will be based on the cart total. This makes sense. And again, we get to choose who we want to target this particular role for. And then just as before here to run to um, automate our promotion, we'll just go ahead and schedule a date here. So we'll say the 20th to the 22nd, which is Friday. And then the minimum order amount. So they need to spend at least a hundred dollars and above. So we'll use the asterisk sign for above and then they'll get a percentage discount of 15%. So we don't need to add the percentage sign here. We'll just say um, 15%. Okay. And then let's clear this basket here and let's go ahead and test out this rule. And then let's add this album to cart. Okay. Let's remove this beanie hat. All right. And then let's say 10. So um, if we increase in the quantity to 10, our total amount should be um, $150, right? But here you can see we've got a reminder here saying that if we order more than $100, then we'll get 15% off. So let's go ahead and update this and see. And there we go, the discounts applying. 15% of 150 is $827.5. We've also added a handling fee, but that's for a different video. And, but again, the key point is you can run various discounts. The thing to look out for is um, this schedule date range here. So you just wanna make sure you schedule it to make sure you run in an effective flash sale, which is fully automated. And that's how you create a flash sale within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.